What's up, Moon Lords? I'm back with another AMC Financial Astrology update video. DD on AMC, you absolutely cannot get anywhere else. I'm your host, Jason Alexander, Blue Moon and Neptune. And today we're going to talk about AMC, GameStop, and Spy, and predict where they're going to go for this up and coming full moon banger. Listen, first things first, rip paper hands. Last week was amazing. And if you watch my update videos, literally everything I said that was going to happen on AMC played out to the actual T. It was absolutely amazing. And if you're playing the options with me, you know we made a lot of money. You all know I had a really good week the week before in options. And this week I had an even better week. Listen, I've only been in the market since late 2020. It's not like I'm a rocket scientist. So listen, if you guys want to learn how to do this, if you guys want to learn how to trade options and make lots of money on AMC and the meme stocks on the way up or just in regular stocks in general, that's what I'm focused on teaching people in the near future. So you better get into the discord while it's still free and get grandfathered in. OK, because listen, it's this stuff to me is is. There's a strategy to it. And if you work the strategy correctly and do a lot of risk management, you can win more than you lose. And I have learned so much this last year. I'm going to do another moon phase update video on how to trade the moon phases because I've learned so much since I made the first video. And it's, it's, it's been an amazing ride. OK, so it's not it's not just the meme stocks I'm making money on. I'm just going to flip through some of these um, some some of my last week plays on the options. You can see here we got 117 percent, 126 percent, 292 percent, 106 percent, 221 percent. These are some of my AMC plays, 48 percent, 96 percent, 36 percent, 8 percent, 106 percent and 95 uh, percent. Let's see, 95 uh, percent, 193 percent, 106 percent. Uh, that that wasn't an option. I just kind of yodeled that one, but I was I was in the Discord when that happened, so I figured I would uh, show you guys that. And listen, you guys need to get into the Discord. This is where I'm dropping a lot of my plays. 229% on Unity, uh, 209% on Starbucks, 160% AMC, 146%. Look at this trade. All right, I brought a $30 call August 19th, 44 uh, 44 shares. Um, there, there's a strategy to this. Okay. I got in really early. This option ended up going 400% before I sold them. I sold half of them and I didn't take a screenshot because it happened so quickly. Um, let's see, 90%, 66%, 254%. Um, when AMC fell in after hours, I literally told you guys that in the, in my last video that I expected a huge drop after earnings, um, just to pop up, up, pop back up on the next day on the quarter moon, which is exactly what we did. So when we dropped in after hours, I scooped that up. I scooped it up because it was hitting my support levels perfectly. If you're in a discord, you saw that live um, space put. I got uh, 500%. Wow. Um, DraftKings 80, 80, 89%, 132% on BBY. Caught that early. Let's see. Come on. And I'm just showing you guys this to show you guys that we can do this. All right. This I'm telling you, I'm I, I'm no I'm no genius. OK, I just have a strategy that's working out. And I'm trading with those moon phases. Uh, Three hundred and sixty nine percent. Remember, I told you guys this option went um, the thirty dollar call went four hundred percent on me and I was trimming them. So I only had 20 right here, but that three hundred and sixty nine percent. Let's go. All right. Two hundred and thirty three percent. 87%, 89%, BB, uh, 120%, 174% on the BBY, um, 120, 146, GameStop, 83%, 90, 91%, 102%, uh, 41%, okay? Please believe all these plays are going right back into AMC stock and GameStop stock, okay? I play the options, I try to get in, I try to get out, I add to the shares, okay? And now that we're getting these um, AMC Ape shares on top of our shares, I got, I, I had to get even more, okay? So I hope you guys are doing the same thing. Listen, we can make money on the way up to AMC back to all-time highs. We can make lots of money. It wasn't even Hawks. This was at Holtz. This was a beautiful move to the upside that we saw coming. Last week, I said, I was talking about this move before even Renshaw put out a video about the 50-day moving average. I'm using technicals. I'm not just using moon phases but i use the technicals with the moon phases to understand how big the move can be so let's see what i said right here 
on the um on the 50 day moving average which is which is cool because look at what happens when we break the 50 day moving average okay we tend to make solid moves um we did over here I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I'm playing the options on this week, but I'm planning on selling uh, probably the day before the actual earnings because it could be like, you know, buy the news and then sell the news, whatever, whatever that saying is. Uh, but and I'll kind of I'll keep some just in case we keep popping. Um, but the, what I want to what I think we're going to do, especially by this week is is get back in a $16 level. Last week, I said we're either going to hit 20 or we're going to hit 13. We hit 13. OK, uh, I'm sure when you guys heard me say that, you're like, OK, whatever. I don't think that's going to happen, but we hit 13. But this time, I think we could hit the 20s um, on this waxing period, if not go even further. Um, but the first things I want to see is for us to get this level right here and then after earnings we could get a major push we could even we could even get to this 18 dollar level by this by 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 the end of the week all right we could we could get there by earnings and then if we are on this 18 dollar level on before earnings and we think we get like an earnings pop on the actual quarter which is friday the day after earnings honestly the next line is at this 28 so i am holding calls for next week at the 28 just just in case we do test that um but yeah amc is looking pretty bullish based on the moon phases so if you saw that video you guys knew what to expect you guys go watch that video back again literally the, what I said on Spy, what I said on GameStop, all that stuff played out pretty perfectly. Okay, so listen, the moon phase works. Why everyone's uh, paying attention to this and that, I'm paying attention to the moon phase algo. So if you guys want to make moonshot plays, go ahead and check me out. The Market Moon Lord Discord, a lot of great people in there, a lot of great support in there. Um, and yeah, we can we can all learn to do this and make lots of money together. Okay, that is the plan. But before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and show me some love. I really appreciate each one of the moon lords that showed me support during this whole journey. Again, rip the paper hands. If you guys are new here and want to see more DD like this and want to check out DD that you can't get anywhere else, go ahead and subscribe. It's going to be amazing going forward. I've been telling you guys that Eclipse was the bottom and I really think it is now, all right? And it's, it's upside from here where, where, where the market is recovering. We know the mean stops are definitely recovering. So it's gonna be a fun journey. Um, and it's only the beginning, only the beginning. All right, let's get started. Welcome to the Market Moon Lord, where we merge the matrix with the stars. I'm your host, Jason Alexander, the blue moon of Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. Part of the strategy on understanding moon phase plays is understanding what the overall market is doing on this particular phase. We know during a waxing period is a more stronger period for a pop than a waning period when the moon is going down. We also now that know that the market went on a double moon phase pop along with AMC, which was a huge sign of bullishness. And we actually came back into our regular waxing up waning down type uh, algo it looks like we know that this purple box is a pluto retrograde and i've been saying since it fell out of that purple box that that's rare and the spy is going to want to get back in there and it actually did uh on this waxing period perfectly which we talked about in the last video and to me when it got back in there i said hey i don't think it's going to drop back down and look it's been testing it it's been testing that purple box but it hasn't fell fell underneath that and i think if it does fall underneath that it's going to text uh test this trend line right here which are, which that you know if we do that next week we'll be around the 405 would be like the lowest we would go but honestly we might get a, another retest but i do think we're going to get a full moon pop um, and we're just going to uh, potentially go up into this full moon now we know moves to, uh, for a full moon typically happens within three days of that full moon and and sometimes we fall before the push up right so again a, a retest is likely um before a push up um but everything is looking good and as you can see here i have a nice coupling handle okay and typically um at the end of the pluto retrograde and then we go into the pluto uh shadow period um we start heading up and i do think uh we're gonna be up here um by the end of the year which i do have a option play that i called out which should go about thousand percent based on this strategy okay but i only threw a hundred dollars in there and let's see if i can turn that into one thousand um and if you're in the discord you saw that play i want to pull up the indicators here everything is looking pretty darn good uh we have uh first of all i want to say that spy is testing the 200 ma 
uh, which is awesome. Uh, AMC did that this week and, and shot right past that. Uh, when I look at the uh, MACD, the MACD is looking very, very healthy. Uh, it's actually looking like it needs to cool down. We're way high on the um, on the lines here, and it is kind of squeezing to the downside. But again, I just think we just need to cool down. Um, the uh, the RSI is still in a healthy spot. Um, the vertex is, is starting. There's a lot of heading down, okay? But I just think it's a cool off period. So again, we're probably just gonna retest that bottom of the purple here, which would be around the 408, 409 level, okay? Before another bounce um, into that full moon, which is gonna be on Friday, expiration day. So that's, that's gonna be an interesting Friday, okay? Because it's a full moon. Um, but the, yeah, this cup and handle looks like the target will probably take us around. Let's see here. Yeah, the, look at that perfectly above the purple. Um, so yeah, I don't know the exact timing of that. Um, I expect this uh, full moon pop to maybe test the 430. Okay. Um, and then we'll probably consolidate in, in the waning period. And then on the next waxing period, start heading up again. Pretty simple stuff, right? So let's check out GameStop. Okay, so GameStop was looking amazing. And honestly, the strongest out of all of them for, for the longest time. Um, and GameStop definitely shot past that, two, that 200 MA up here um, on, that wa on this waxing period. And, you know, I told you guys, this looked like the slingshot move. And look, we just, bam, went right past that. I'm looking for a uh, for us to be above this $40 level on the um, full moon. And I think we already are on the, uh, I think we already went past that on the, uh, no, we didn't. Yeah, we're testing it. We're, 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 yeah, we're trying to get past that on the after hours. We're very, very close to breaking that. If we break this $40, $40 and Let's see, 4054, and we're above that by the full moon. I do expect a nice little pop to maybe 47. Um, if not, if not getting past that and getting close to that $58 level, I think that is pretty likely. The bearish scenario for this week is we fall, maybe test uh, around this $36 level. Uh, maybe even hit this trail line way over here, uh, which will bring us to the 200 support, which will be around the 34, um, just to start heading back up into the full moon. Now we could get a full moon be right on this 40. And again, if we pass that, I do think we're going to hit 47. When I look at the indicators, the RSI is, is, is out there. Okay. It is, it is high. It is ready to make a solid, solid move. The last time it was this high, we did get, uh, yeah, we did get to that trail line of 47. Um, the MACD is looking awesome. Um, it's starting to it's, the lines are way above, way above it, and it's starting to squeeze the right direction beautifully. Um, the vertex is in a healthy spot, but it does look like you know uh, we could start getting a, a reverse trend. This little dotted line right here is the money uh, flow index, and that's still looking pretty healthy. I would like to see that start heading, heading up. But yeah, I cannot complain about this waxing move right here. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And, you know, we're already testing the launch pad days before the full moon. So I am not complaining. So you guys let me know what you guys think about GameStop this week. Are you guys even in GameStop? Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one playing GameStop. Uh, to me, there's a lot of money to get be made on GameStop and AMC. So you guys let me know if you guys are even playing GameStop. All right, let's check out AMC. Okay, so we have... Our favorite ticker here amc and i just want to point out this eclipse i told you guys the moon lords the eclipse if that wasn't the squeeze if it was the bottom and i think it's fair to say it was the bottom look at that beautiful trail line and we literally broke past that trail line this week beautiful absolute beautiful um um break we had a break and a retest and then we came right up all right it's absolutely um phenomenal all right uh the rsi is way oversold so there could be a little bit of a pullback if we do get a pullback we're kind of in no man's land um i would probably say we could potentially test the 200 ma um but based on the moon phase it would be the 18 dollar level 1841 if we had a really uh 
huge pullback to retest. Um, but look at that volume. Volume is increasing amazingly. The 50 day is, is uh, heading up uh, direction. And yeah, it's looking very, very awesome, especially with that volume coming in. Now, um, we look at the MACD. The MACD is, 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 looks, looks like it wants to do a moonshot, obviously, right? Um, the money flow index is awesome. Um, and the vertex is looking pretty healthy with the red heading still down. So I don't see any type of reverse trend based on anything. Okay, so Monday we could get another pop um, potentially. Okay, now historically speaking, um, bef like, you know, five days outside of the full moon, we, we typically will see a drop. And that's actually healthy to see for me because I want to drop before we start heading up into the moon phase. Okay, heading up into the full moon. Um, I don't mind seeing that. That happens all the time. So uh, that could be a scenario. So, get, so, so, so remember, full moon is Friday. We typically can start getting moved within three days. Uh, so uh, Wednesday, uh, I do expect us to start heading up uh, no matter what happens because the moon phase, the full moon pop looks very, very likely. And the full moon is actually in AMC's first house, Aquarius, which we'll check that out later. Uh, but everything is looking great everything is looking great and you know the, if we do get a serious full moon pop i think 28 is 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 gonna happen okay if we get a full moon pop i think 28 is gonna happen um because yeah we're definitely in no man's land i don't have any lines through this area which which you look what happened i mean as soon as we broke this line for real i mean we just went we we just shot up okay now i want to point something up point something out um, that after hours move, after we got the earnings, we fell, let's see here. Okay. I put it on the four hour. Um, this is when the earnings came out and we we're right there on my trail line and we dropped hard, but look at, look at where we dropped. We dropped right on my line. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. That's the, that was the launch pad for this phase, right? That was the $16 level. So we fell right on the launch pad. And the fact that we they didn't get us under that, I was like, okay, they just tried to shake us out and they couldn't get us out. And then I started buying. Um, once we reached back to this line, I was like, oh, that's bullish. Um, so I brought after hours, I brought like 40 more shares about right here. Um, and then you guys saw what happened the next day on that quarter moon that I kept saying, explaining in the last video and throughout the Discord. Uh, AMC likes quarter moons. And look at that volume. So. Friday is the full moon real fast. We're going to go over uh, the AMC astrology chart. And guys, if you guys appreciate this DD, go ahead and hit that like button and show me some love. And I would appreciate you guys if you want to subscribe and check us out at the Market Moon Lord Discord where I drop live updates and it will be a premium discord in the near future. I'm a Libra rising, so I'm thinking on the Libra new moon is when I will uh, make it a paid discord okay moon lords knows what's going on here we got the amc chart pulled up with the uh transits in the sky i'm actually looking at thursday night um depending on where you are in the world the full moon will be on thursday night or friday morning um but i just want to see how this full moon is gonna uh looks like against amc's uh stock first off i want to say that it's in amc's first house that's extremely extremely bullish and if you guys don't understand what a full moon is, that's when the sun is directly opposite of the moon. Looking at it, that is a full moon. Having We have the new moon in AMC's first house or seventh house of relationships. And I said that I like that new moon there. Uh, we'll show a lot of attention on AMC, the sun and the moon's there in the seventh house. And then um, we're having the full moon across that seventh house, which is AMC's first house. Okay, We're having Aquarius full moon area. AMC is the Aquarius uh, rising with a zero degree Aquarius, very, very, very strong Aquarius uh, degree right there. Okay. And um, it looks like this full moon is going to be close to AMC's Juno, which is the plan of marriage partnership. And, and that's actually to me is good for just more people being committed to AMC. Um, and again, I'm expecting partnerships and more partnerships with the AMC because look at where the, the Saturn retrograde is. It's right there on top of Juno. Um, consolidating the planets consolidating on amc's uh juno getting ready to make some type of um new foundation with some type of uh, partnership in my personal opinion and the full moon is still in amc's first or seventh house or excuse me the sun is still in amc's seventh house of relationships still a lot of attention on amc without a doubt 
And I did mention in the last video that Leo, which is where the sun is, does represent the performer, the artist. Okay, so this is really good for the arts in general. If you guys are following this channel way back in the day, uh, you know I know this transits of AMC. I know you. I know um, historical moves, and I'm telling you right now, there's been a lot of historical moves with the moon in this spot making a sextile to uh mercury okay so the moon is sextiling mercury zero degrees for that full moon i love that that screams news that absolutely screams news okay i'm not too worried about it squaring saturn but that could have something to do with um something getting shooken up with the amc's foundation where they're starting something new okay we're getting an aquarius full moon which is um an explosion into the future getting rid of the old bringing in the new we know saturn represents foundations okay and structures that we built up this saturn is getting hit by uranus zero degrees and uranus is literally aquarius energy of of a uh, futuristic jumping into the future trying new things and square the sun and moon so saturn is in, in the sign of scorpio is really trying to make amc make uncomfortable moves and make power moves and make moves to take things over okay scorpio energy so this is just creating a lot of uh tension and a lot of passion uh with the company's uh you know uh uh, uh management okay and what they're trying to do saturn is really getting hit hard trying to break through those those structures and build new ones okay so to me that's very very bullish i just love how much energy mercury is getting on this full moon it's getting a trine from the sun it's getting a sextile from the moon and a sextile from mercury okay or excuse me sextile from saturn uh mercury is news mercury is contracts and uh bringing things together and so this is, is very likely that we're going to hear a lot of good news this up and coming week uh more news to come more news to come i look at this mars is directly opposite amc's midheaven so it's just again loss of passion towards amc uh, the Mercury in the sky is actually making some pretty awesome uh, moves as well. Is making a trine to Pluto and a trine to the moon. Absolutely bullish. Absolutely bullish. Not to mention Mercury's at home in the sign of Virgo, which to me could represent um, whatever news we get, whatever uh, conversations we're having in the AMC uh, world, whatever contracts they may be signing or whatever power moves they could be making. It does look pretty stable. I also like that Venus is pulling up in amc seventh house venus rules the seventh house of relationships uh and it's and it likes leo okay there's this, the venus is the artist leo's the performers so that's good for the arts in general and look it's making an exact opposition <laughs> to amc's uh ascendant which is absolutely beautiful people are gonna love amc this week people are gonna love what it does this week venus actually represents money and we got a venus opposite of venus i mean things can't get much more bullish than this i mean the only thing that could get more bullish is if we had all these outer planets going direct okay so we have the uh pluto in the sky on top of the amc's venus all right and it's retrograde all right so to me when that goes forward and we talked about that earlier that's going to be amazing for amc because that's where we're gonna get a lot of power moves shout out to jacob jacob was one of the first people to point out the may 26 eclipse uh when we called that out uh in 2021 man we made a lot of money on that and he mentioned that uh he showed me the the full moon on august 25th which is also a partial eclipse and by that time um pluto and saturn will be direct and again pluto is on top of amc's venus relationships and saturn is on top of amc's juno relationships okay uh so this is all getting built up to something great uh and uh, honestly um i do think we're going to start hitting those brackets that i have um on the chart but i do think that uh you know we're there's still more to come by the end of the year okay uh, we got neptune retrograde that's going to be out of retrograde by by december um it's trying amc's uh midheaven and we got jupiter which is uh square the moon in conjunct amc's uranus wow jupiter represents expansion uranus is futuristic it's in the sign of aries this is fast paced energy okay so there's a reason why amc is making these crazy moves when we have these outer planets making crazy conjunctions okay and when they go direct it's going to be an absolute banger so i'm gonna leave it there you guys tell me exactly what you guys think about amc on this full moon do you guys think it's gonna pop do you guys think it's gonna drop um have you guys been making money on the options you guys let me know who's playing options if you guys are interested in me making a brand new update moon phase how to trade the moon phase uh 
uh, move phases in the stock market. And go, don't forget to check us out the Market Moonlord Discord where I'm dropping live DD. That's good. Not, not going to be free much longer. So get grandfathered in. And yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're new, like the, like the button or like the uh, video. And man, it's been it's been a great week. It's been a great week. I am absolutely exhausted, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys on money on my <laughs> on money. See, we're gonna make money on Monday, okay? Uh, but I'll see you guys on Monday. Until next time, I'm Jason Alexander, the Blue Moon of Neptune, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. You're watching the Market Moon Lord, where we merge the majors with the stars. Until next time, peace. Jason Alexander, the Blue Moon of Neptune. Blue moon of Neptune.